Namaste, love and light, fire signs. I hope all is well with you guys. Welcome back to another um, monthly reading. Okay, this is going to be for the month of March. And this is going to be for the, for the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and uh, Jupiter. Okay, so you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Fire signs. Okay, flip flop the rose. All right, any cross watchers, welcome. Okay, let's see. Let's get started. So, I feel like y'all been dealing with a witch that was trying to, like, suck your energy fire. So, I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't want to make the reading about this. All right, but, you know, if it comes out that way, that's just what it is. But, let's see. Because I always get positive energy with you guys. I feel like some of you guys have been having a hard time being yourself. Yeah. I feel like with this distance horizon, somebody been sending, like, you know, energy towards your future. Like somebody's been trying to like take down your future, ruin your empire. That's what I'm getting. I can't make it up. Poverty. Somebody is trying to like manifest your future, your destiny to be like in poverty for you to like for it to fail, fall apart. Some of y'all could be 36 or 37. All right. Or you could be dealing with someone that age. Yeah. Somebody even trying to get you to go to jail. You have no reason to go to jail, but this person is trying to find a reason to send you to jail. It could, ow, you know, could be a man. I feel like this person is trying to like affect your life, the, the path that you're walking. It's okay. I feel like your ancestors been telling you with this message of concern. Like this person is trying to mess up and ruin your future. They're trying to mess up and ruin your cosmic flow. They're trying to say whatever divine masculine you're with. Or going to be with is going to ruin your life. They're not good for whatever kids you may have. It's a main male that was that was once in your life who you left out in the cold. He's now in poverty. He's trying to manifest his his fate. All right, his less fortune for you. All right, because I'm getting his fortune. Like he don't have much fortune, and he's trying to you know accumulate the amount that you have. Trying to use you know witchcraft manifestation. All right, against you and whatever courtship you may even have, okay? This person could even did, like, spell work to try to send you a DM in jail. All right? This is crazy. Yeah. Message. I feel like your divine ancestors is telling you this. That's why change is about to come for this karmic because they did some karmic-ass shit here. All right, and we have um family room. You could have family talking about you, concerns, thoughts, thinking, like, I feel like you have... A lot of two-faced stuff is being exposed. Like, you have people in your family trying to say, like... They, like, they're trying to say what is wrong with you. What's going on in your mind. Like, and it's about a, a divine masculine. It could be either with you with your ex or with this new person. They're trying to say you're not supposed to be with that person. So they're trying to say, like, something is wrong with you. Okay? It's people in, like, your house. People who you share, like, this, you know, family with. Family room with house. So this is, like, people who you want to live with as a family. Okay, they're trying to like they're judging your connection or your past connection. Like when you're with them, they will always question why you're with this ex or whoever you're with now. They're trying to question them. But yeah, look, and we have child here. I was just about to say, excuse my baby. All right, somebody's talking about your child too. All right, somebody's trying to say you're crazy for having a child here. All right, you have gifted children. Maybe you guys want new children here, like more new children. You want more children. All right, and this karma you're trying to say, like, oh, you're crazy for wanting to have more children. It's a lot of gossip. Why am I getting all this gossip here? It's like your ancestors is telling you everything. All right, maybe your child can even pick up on certain stuff here on, like, the ancestors, what the ancestors say. And the karmic is, I'm getting the karmic is trying to say, like, that's crazy. Like, you need to get up and go to work. This is, like, family members trying to say you need to get up and go to work. All right, because your money is very unexpected. You have unexpected income or you, like, maybe even receive assistance from, like, government. They're trying to, like, talk about that. I feel like you're very content and you're patient with your journey. You're patient with your flow because you know you're going to come across your sudden wealth. Your unexpected income is going to turn into sudden wealth for you, okay? This is your time, your golden era. And you have people trying to say, no, no, -uh, that's not what's going to happen for you because it's not happening for them. So now all of a sudden it's not happening for you. But then I feel like your ancestors are telling you this. Like demons are trying to get into your energetic space. Okay. Sorry about that. So yeah, you guys definitely have a gift. And I feel like you should keep expressing your gift, your creative talent. 
These people are hating, man. They're hating on your great fortune. The fact that your gifts are very fortunate is going to make you a lot of money. Your business is definitely flowing here. I feel like it's a mature man and a woman. All right? It could be like an auntie, uncle, or like somebody in your family talking mess. I don't know, but I'm also getting like divine ancestors on the other, other side that's blessing your journey. Okay? Yeah, they're blessing you. And I feel like somebody is mad because they're not chosen. Somebody's mad because they're that you're chosen over them. I'm getting ham, sham. Some of y'all could be like Israelites, so you follow that. Or you may know somebody that is, okay? Occupation, maybe working with an Israelite, okay? I don't know why I'm getting that. If you guys believe in that, I don't know what is ham. All right, but somebody could be that here. Over there. Look on the floor. Look your phone over there. Yeah, we have a lover. You could have a lover that was an Israelite. All right. Or maybe you was connected with that. Take out resonate. Okay. Expectation. It's, I don't know why I'm getting expected to be with like an Israelite. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. Okay. I heard Ham here. Thief. Pathway. Anyway. I'm using this one, so I don't know. Use your black phone. Use the black one, baby. Yeah, somebody was trying to steal from you. Excuse my baby. I'm sorry. Look, Sagittarius energy. Could have been a Sagittarius trying to do this. Come on. All right, but Will of Fortune, like I said, you guys are very fortunate. You guys are building. You're having on earth. I'm getting rebuilding. You came here to rebuild. What, what was once yours with the three of swords i'm getting you separated from you know your heaven on earth okay and you're here to rebuild it again yeah you guys definitely resurrected you are a resurrected goddess or god here fire god fire goddess here yeah look justice always give me like a goddess energy okay so i feel like you guys are this like resurrected god or goddess that came here with a divine purpose and someone is trying to separate you from that this is sad. Somebody's really trying to separate you from like your divine ancestors, make you not even see them. This is someone that's trying to leave you stagnant. They're trying to root you, root you, and separate you from your divine purpose and keep you in the 3D. This is, I'm telling you, this is a reptilian karmic, man. I'm telling you, they don't like being called that, but that's what the hell they are. All right, chariot. You know, your ancestors are coming towards this, kar this karmic here. Your ancestors are about to untie you. You've been feeling stagnant fire signs. All right, this is definitely for you. And it's because you've been dealing with a lot of gossip. People around you just talking about your past, your present, and your future. People trying to wish bad on you. People want you to be sad, depressed, soulless like them. All right, Libra energy, Pisces energy, Cancer energy, Scorpio energy, judgment. These people are about to receive a lot of um, judgment here. And I'm getting their false judgment that they were trying to place on you. It's being sent back. I'm using it. It's being sent back to them. Their false judgment is being sent back to them, star seed. Well, fire signs. Yeah, look, you're choosing healing over, over. You know the 3D. You're choosing your purpose over the 3D, and you're gonna come across a lot of oppositions and distractions. These people do not want you to follow your destiny. They don't want you to believe in a destiny. They want you to like how they how they want you to see the world is like you know you don't have a destiny. You don't have a divine purpose. You get what I'm saying? That's how they want you to see the world. Okay. As there's no divine purpose and no destiny, and you're just entrapped in the 3D. I'm seeing like the death note. This person got like some type of death notebook where they're just like trying to prophesy, prophesy certain like mishaps and you know alternate realities for people. All right, this is someone who you definitely separated from. They they got a um a, an axe to grind. Yeah, they after you and other people blessing star seeds with this um well fire signs. <laughs> All right, y'all star seeds, okay? But with this high priestess, I feel like you you guys are definitely connected with the divine collective, and you guys know what's going on with the collective. Like, there's an enemy that is trying to poison all of our cups. All right, and that enemy is close to home, and they are working with the higher up. They got their divine purpose from, from that devil they sold they soul to. All right, it's definitely not God here. But you're transmuting their, their mishaps into blessings with that Ace of Pentacles. You're about to receive a lot of opportunities. All right. Yeah. God is, is protecting your happy squirrel and your ace of cups. 
Leo energy. God is protecting your strength here. God is protecting you and your powers, protecting your intuition. This person know deep down inside they can't get your 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 blessings. All right, they know that they can't get your your intuition. They're trying to block intuition school, your intuitive gifts. They can't do that. They know that they're cursed for even trying, but they, it's like a it's like a part of them keep looking within, trying to find different ways. Take you down. Now this is the karmic witch here. And I'm getting other family members is like trying to stagnate your third eye through evil eye. They're sending you evil eye, which is like straining your third eye. They're, it's straining your third eye because they're evil eyeing your third eye. They're evil eyeing your intuition. So that's how it's manifesting star seeds. Okay. And I feel like your karmic did not want to believe you. They did not. But I feel like you don't care. It's like whatever they do is it motivates you. But I feel like recently it's been cracking you. But you're going about to get you're about to get your power back, your energy back. And you're going to be feeling back whole again. This karma did not like the fact that you have control of your power. I'm telling you, you guys have a lot of courage. I see them watching you. Like, you know, they want to be in that energy like you. Okay? They want to be in that energy like you. That's crazy. Whatever it is that you're doing, okay? They see how it's working for you. You have a lot of courage. This is um, Leo energy again. All right? You guys definitely know how to... Keep your like keep yourself feeling whole. It's like you know how to pamper yourself, love yourself. That's not wrong. Why is the person trying to say that's wrong? Because you do that. All right. Yeah. Please keep going. Do not give up on your journey or on your path. I'm telling you, it's just gossip. It's bare gossip projections and spell work coming from family, old friends, and witches here. Yeah. Look, you guys were in your feelings because you haven't been feeling whole recently. You guys haven't been feeling whole here. Yeah, I feel like you guys been feeling like someone is in your sacred space trying to, you know, cause an upheaval. But that's about to be transmuted into a blessing. Into, it's like, yeah, it's a challenge, but you're about to win the challenge. It's about to transform into something good for you. All right, it's like a new day. All right, your day is definitely transforming. Sorry for you. Whoa. Fire signs. Yeah, keep going. You're heading towards your future self. Don't give up. Don't give up on the divine and on your divine purpose. Your divine past, because you are a part of the light in the dark. You are connected with this divine collective. You know what's going on. And I feel like, you know, you just need to be open to, you know, all the signs, synchronicities, downloads that you receive from spirit. All right. These karmics, they see and they know that you are a light worker. It's all in your persona. And, they, and it bothers them. It tickles them in the inside. Like, you know, how can you do that? You know, how can you just tap into that? Like, it's not easy for them because they're still blocked. But you are enough. You are enough to inspire others to help them embark their journey, help them walk their journey and start the process towards their age of awakening. Help them receive their world, their new reality, their heaven on earth. All right. You're helping others activate into their true self, into their true identity, helping them obtain their integrity. All right, fire signs. You're doing the, your thing. You're living and walking in your purpose. This is why you have these oppositions and these damn um, distractions around you. All right, don't worry. Everything gonna be okay. But I love y'all so much. Namaste.